Hello everybody, Swift here again, and today we're playing Incremental Dice. The game is an idle game, dice upgrading game, I guess. I'm not sure if there is an end to this. I have no idea what this game has to offer. I just found it. It looked cute and nice and whatever, and I wanted to play it. I do enjoy incremental games. I do upgrade. I enjoy upgrade games. Let's roll some dice. Get a coin. High score is one. Let's go four coins, and here we go. 25 to get a base die. Now, theoretically, there are a bunch of upgrades and a bunch of things. Can I, by the way, use space here? No, I guess I can only i'm forced to click that's gonna be good for my carpal tunnel syndrome but doesn't matter we're getting high rolls here like crazy threes and fours only about another four wow is this a rig no it's not rigged i guess and everyone is gonna come in nope and we got our second die let's go and we're rolling two dies per roll and now i need 27 for the next one honestly very easy to do very chill vibing maybe this is a live stream game honestly could have just talked with the chat but whatever uh let's go and get our 27 die now if these upgrade it cheaper and cheaper 29 nice so these are very easy to actually upgrade uh, as far as i'm seeing because the cost does not seem to be exponential if anything it seems to be the opposite of exponential whatever that would be get more money 31 now what is this a dice capacity out of nine auto roller okay ascension one out of two and this is my emoji what what does my emoji do if i click it oh no oh no no leaderboard no nope. i don't want to expose my friends and whatnot let's go with another die so i can have up to nine of these there is something for a hundred and there is also ascension. When, when can I send? Minimum recurrence for die recurrence and minimum high score of 150. Ah, I even have need to have a high score to get that. I like the high score if I can't get all of these. The good thing is I'm getting really fast money now. So the speed at which this exponentiates is nice. I would like this auto roller to be a lot faster than what it currently is. It's very low. Yeah, I'm not clicking anything. It's very, very, very slow. Maybe there is an upgrade for that. Right now we're at 96 cash, we're about to hit the 100 coins, let's go tier 2, what does that do? Do we know what this does? Maybe double the money? Yeah, it just double the money. So that's nice, and does that combine things? Why did I, uh, yeah, it combos two of them, so I can rotate back into buying the symbol version 2. I don't think there is, I mean these are pretty much the same, these two are the same. Combining two into making them easier um, easier to give us more money is obviously the same with also getting a new one Because actually it's not the same. This is worse. This just combines two 13 plus 10 13 plus 4 Yeah, combining literally makes you just spend money to actually just get no more dice It just makes it so that one dice rolls two dice at the same time. So there is no reason whatsoever uh, Up to this point very chill vibey I want to see where we're going with this. 250 coins here is what that one wants. Let's continue gaining a dice. Let's continue rolling. What happens if I roll while the auto roller is about to roll? Did I roll it or was that the auto roller? I think it was the auto roller. The good thing is that, once again, nothing is exponential. When things are not exponential, I do enjoy it. It makes for a more easy experience. I just auto rolled and then it's going to auto roll instantly. Yeah, it auto rolled instantly on its own. Very nice. We continue making money faster and faster now. I'm literally gaining double the money than what I used to. So, should I go for the 250 to see what the 250 does? I would assume that the 250 just combines two of the things we already have going on. Does more money give us more... Uh, wait, what was that? 5 plus 3d6 equals 41. Okay, it's just the white numbers are the white die and the yellow numbers are the yellow die. That's the only thing here. Let's also get one of those to see what that is. Most likely gonna combo. That's gonna be a red die now. Which is times 3 or times 4? 3 times 4 is 12. Yeah, 4 times 4 is 16, so this is a times 4 die. So there is, a, there is a big difference now. I mean, there is not a big difference, to be honest. You just continue buying small dice. I mean, literally every button I do here, these either combine my dice so we have more room, or these ones actually give us more dice. So we need to specifically press this button to gain more. These here are not really helping us gain more. They just give us more room. Uh, I would assume... Oh, you always get access to the next two as to what they do. I see. I mean, it makes sense because I would assume that this combo is too red and this... How can I buy the 2.5k, by the way, without actually having... What happens if I buy the 2.5k without actually having the thing that combines the 2.5k? This is like a nice question to have here. Should I try to do that? Nah, let's actually play the game like a normal human being. So if we are normal human beings, as if that even means anything as a sentence. Let's go here and let's continue rolling. I hope the auto roller goes faster and faster, by the way. That would be a nice little addition. I also would hope that the game is not only what I'm seeing right now. Uh, I mean, I'm seeing the sixes here, so I would assume that the ascension is going to give us a six-sided die. And then we are going to go big money. 
Although what is going to be the next ascension after that's the question. 43 is my score right now. What do I need to hit? I need to hit 150. 150 is not really that far away from where we are. We're right up at 50s. Let's go to 186. I would like to see what happens if I can... Oh, I can, for example, write down not combine things. So that's what happens. You are literally not allowed to even buy it. That's literally what happens. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just take a little break here to just amass a bunch of money. And I'm gonna come back to see... Um, yeah, how much faster we're gonna go. I think this is the best way to do this. I don't need to roll all the time. I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit. I'm gonna come back when I have a bit more money. So I just upgrade everything and we roll a bit higher. And we're gonna do it this way. We're not gonna just be stuck here seeing the same animation again and again and again. I think that's a better way of uh, approaching this game. As the game seems to be pretty straightforward. And there isn't really that much craziness happening anyway. So I'm gonna come back when uh, the auto roller is gonna be done rolling like 20 times or something. And here we are a little bit later where we got our first 1k. Let's actually get those. Boom. They are now red dice, which give, I would say, 8 times the amount. Yeah, from 1 it gave us 8. From 2 it gave us 16. And the number is super awesome looking. I really enjoy the colors here. I guess they're going for an aesthetic game, which I'm really all in for. Aesthetic games are always awesome. And also combining things happens faster and faster. This from 85 goes up to 87. So it's, it really seems like the costs here that we're paying are always... Uh, linear literally like 91 93 and linear costs are actually really good because it makes it so that the lower costs are always easy to use and here at this point we once again do not have enough to actually come by anything now you see i'm just waiting to hit a thousand and then when i hit a thousand i'm just gonna buy a, a thousand and then another 93 another 160 another 322 i really enjoy the the progression here very you know very simplistic it would be nice to be able to roll with the space button instead of just needing to specifically space bar let's go here and now we're gonna go again with boom 168 should be the next one and then another white one here we go continue rolling another white Nice, so the moment we get a combo going is when we pretty fast combine everything. Now we're waiting for 322 to buy the next one after that. I'm very close to 150 high score, by the way, like the game requires us to do. And once again, every white die <coughs> is that adds. Every, anything else is just combining and give us room. Only white dies matter. Uh, because, I mean, think about it. If you have two dice that each roll from one to four and give you times four money it's the same as having one die that gives you times eight money that also rolls one to four um, it's not the same exactly with statistics but it is the same as to the maximum value you can get like four times four plus four times four is the same with four times eight so the only thing that actually does add to your maximum possible roll is getting more white dice so each white dice we get is one more maximum of plus four uh, what was that did i hit the ascension by the way it really feels like somebody's in my house i really am afraid man it really sounds like somebody's in my house 120 i don't know what i got previously when i when it just appears maybe was it the auto roller function i don't know what i got at some point i got something there Maybe there are points or something. I'm at 128 right now. <clears throat> Once again, we're stuck here as to the colors. So we want to go 148. So close. So close. So you can even actually math out how many of the white dice you need. It's 150 divided by 4. That's how many white dice you need. And then you need to god roll, of course. You're not going to always god roll. If anything, you will never god roll. 148 is the maximum. So from here on out, we're very much, uh, we very much have a high chance of getting what we want. 146. 132, 90, that's a low one. Let's go 96 again. So the fact that I already got 148 and now got even more white dice just, just means that... Here we go, we hit it. Let's go ascend! <coughs> Select two upgrades to ascend. Dice maximum capacity. The maximum number of dice you can have on the table goes from 9 to 16. Okay, now I enjoy this because now we have more choices. Uh, from I like that. Auto buyer. Dice will be automatically purchased if possible every 15 seconds. Who cares? I can do that by hand. Upgrade will be purchased automatically if possible every 20 seconds. Once again, who cares? You go from D4 to D6. That means you can roll higher numbers. Okay, this is the best and then this is the second best. So we're gonna go with this and this. In my opinion. And uh, let's go. Ascend. And now we go D6. Is Why would I choose anything else? And tell me that the prices are the same. What's the next ascension? 500 uh, high score. And a balance of 10,000 coins. Okay, that's a different one this time. Obviously, the speed at which we get what we get. Why would I ever go with auto? I guess auto is for you just leave the screen. 
but I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna buy that. So the game just evolves in itself. Okay, I have to say, although it was about, uh, I expected the game to like be a very much who cares game, which it is a little bit. It's just a chill vibe game. Uh, now I have to say that I really enjoyed it because it just showcased my lot in Ascension you choose upgrades. Now, of course, D6s are the upgrade here. Anything else would be a bad choice. What is this? Does the game just roll in itself now? No, the game is just faster. Okay, oh, what is this? What does it say? Dice roll on two times faster, allowing you to earn more cash in less time for two minutes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What was that? Did I get something for having two sixes in the early game? What was that? Like, I saw two sixes next to each other in the, in the, in the first zone there. Two fives. And one six was in the corner again. Am I supposed to press the sixes when they appear? I'm gonna try to maybe press them if they appear again. I'm gonna continue just buying more and more. Once again, it continues being true that only having the white dice is... Oh, what is this? I didn't see what it said. Times two. I'm gaining, I'm gaining multipliers. Whatever, times two. Okay, so there is a new mechanic now in town. If you get sixes next to each other, it seems, you're gaining multipliers. Which is they're really fast, gonna give us... Okay, now we're actually scaling very fast, to be honest. Now I'm actually seeing us get more and more money very, very fast. I mean, of course, the, um, the multiplier is helping, don't get me wrong. But what's also helping is the fact that we got multiplier mechanic existing in the game. When sixes are next to each other, that was not that didn't just used to be a thing when we were playing with the fours. I'm already at high score 428. So what can I say? We got a lot of these. Let's get a bunch of those back now. Yeah, 400. Can I still get the multiplier thing, or was that only when I was playing? No, I can still get the multiplier. So if I can get the times three multiplier, for example, that should be enough here. We should be winning at this point. 100, or like 428 is the high score right now. So I can easily get a times three, actually times four multipliers instantly 500 coins. But then I also need to have cash, 10,000 cash in the bank. So maybe that's not the way. Let's continue going for white dice. Nice, continue yellow and white. Same old, same old, back in the game. Uh, whoop, here we go, times three multiplier. 400 plus, auto roller. Times two again. Uh, honestly, I would say that the game should just be on the higher speed. I don't know why the dev said, you know what? No, we're going to only play at the highest speed when we get the highest speed upgrade. We hit the high score 500. And I'm just missing the 10,000 coins. Uh, I think ascending is more of a choice than anything else. Maybe I should go for the 10,000 coins. So once again, I'm going to take a break here. And uh, I'm going to come back when I hit the 10,000 coins. I don't think there is a good idea to spend a single thousand there on anything, honestly. Let's just take the 10,000 coins by rolling uh, quote-unquote brain dead here. And just get the money and be done with it. So, whoo, look at this. Time 3, time 3, 2k. Okay, 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 okay. So that just goes to show how important it is to have a bigger board than pretty much anything else. Because the bigger board you have, the higher chance you have to roll a bunch of times three triple multipliers again and again and again. Or maybe a times four and then a times three. Or a times four, a times three, and a times two. Which, by the way, it's better to have a times three and then another times three than having a times six. So uh, I would like to get a... Ooh, here we go. Times two, times four. Exactly what I said. 1.6k. Actually, I'm not even going to take a break here. We're, we're about to actually even roll that on ourselves times two again. Times... Man, my high score is 2.1k. That means... We might get an ascension level already precursed here. Nice. Times four. Very nice. Uh, I hope having bigger dice space is not going to make that worse. Let's go ascension. Oh, I'm forced to get the other ones. Dice will be automatically purchased if possible every 15 seconds and upgrades will be purchased automatically if possible every 20 seconds. Okay, I'm forced to take these. Ah, that's a bit sad, honestly. Ah, but it's okay. What's the next ascension? Requirements. A minimum high score of 5,000, which I don't have. A minimum of one die at tier 8. One die at tier 8. Okay, that's uh, that's very hard to do in general. We got the speed up. Okay, it's 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 fun that the speed up actually just straight up appears decently often. Can I press the number one to buy? No, I cannot. Let's just spawn this. The auto upgrader is just waiting for the hundred coins to my gather. But we should really just buy a bunch of dice to be honest. Because once again, that is what gives us the most money. Upgrading is just for later. Always go for cap out your inventory space, especially with the multiplier mechanic being a thing. 
And now I can even drop the game at this point and just leave it to play, which I really enjoy. We are maxed out at this point. So let's start combining and rebuying. Now that's what we're going to be doing. Always, always, always buy the maximum amount of dice. So we get the multiplier, obviously. obviously. He says and then combines more. Combine, buy, combine, buy. Nice, we're making our money back. And I do enjoy that we're just getting money faster and faster. And what I really, really, really enjoy is the fact of the exponential <clears throat> money gaining while there is no exponential uh, cost gaining. Like a lot of these games make cost always be exponential, but in this one, no, in this one, it's just very linear here as to what the costs are. So refilling your board with white dice is always easier and easier and easier. There's never a chance it doesn't. Uh, I mean, think about it. Every dice costs two more, but every dice adds two more coins. Uh, no, two more coins. Three more average coins that I could get. So what I mean to say is the next one is going to cost 105. But the thing is that this here is going to add on average three coins to our gaining. So if I already gain 100 coins per roll, 400 at this point, and then the next die is going to give like two more coins on average, uh, three more coins on average. So it should be, again, easier to buy the next white die. And that is true pretty much with all of the, the dice we are buying. Let's put another triple there. Let's continue combining stuff. Now here I need Ascension Level 8, right? Okay, Ascension Level 8 is a bit hard. But the thing is, when I get Ascension Level 8, I am guaranteed to get the 5000 high score at that point. Because I'm like Ascension Level 1 and my high score is... I'm Ascension Level 3 actually previously. I wasn't even at 4. I didn't buy a single 4 previously. And I was at 2.1k. So I can only imagine how busted we're gonna be with the next one. Okay, let's combo a bunch of those. So we get a bunch of those again. And combo as many things as I can. I would like to get like 2k if possible. 600, very nice. Let's buy this and this. And then buy whites again. Once again, the board should always, always, always be as full as possible. And honestly, I would say I should uh, combo the lower tiered first and then the higher tiered. Because it's easier and cheaper to do. And I'm forced to do it anyway. Uh, at this point, I cannot buy those and those either. So now we're going to actually combo anything high tier again. Nice, let's continue buying low tiers. We got four more whites, so let's buy one of those and another one of those. Nice, 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 nice. Simple and clean. A free upgrade just happened. I mean free, it's definitely not free. I mean free as to just it happened on its own. And now we're just making money. Now we're just going for, uh, I guess, just a bunch of reds until we start going for a bunch of whatever is after red. Okay, again, let's buy another red, combo those. Did the game buy the red on its own? No, I don't think so. I mean, combining whatever and just uh, buying another white is the play. Because combining, no matter what combining button I press, it still continues being just get one more die slot. Any other, any other one, there's no math difference maker. Unless somebody can explain to me some kind of math I'm missing here, which I'm pretty sure I don't miss any math. Like, literally all of these buttons, the only thing they say is buy one more slot for 248, buy one more slot for 1000, buy one more slot for five for 400. That's literally it. That's literally what all of these buttons do. We're closing in of getting more and more of those colored dice. Of course, uh, every next one is going to be exponentially more expensive, because this might say that it costs 2.5k, but what it also costs is two reds to be pressed before that is even pressable, and then it also needs uh, four yellows to be pressed and eight whites to be pressed. So these all exponentially scale in costs. Uh, so in that way, I should definitely not try to rush getting the lowest one. I'm not really gaining anything from paying 2.5k to combine the red ones. If I have any, uh, literally any other thing that I can combine, it's just straight up better to combine anything, anything else. Let's so continue rolling. Uh, at this point, I think we're closing into having all reds. When I get all reds, then we start pressing the next color. Because otherwise there is like literally no reason here. Combo just happened. Very nice. Boop. Continue combining. Let's continue rolling, actually. Oh, that was a low roll there. We didn't even get the money that we wanted. Very chill vibe. Um, you know what? Sometimes when I'm playing games like these, I'm thinking that I should have lined up some kind of discussion topic that I should have going on. Uh, but I don't have that. So I'm just chilling here and playing the game. 
you know what let me actually play this game for i would say let's say five minutes then i'm gonna come back when we are about to go to the next tier because i think we're gonna just get a bunch of purples now which is gonna take a while ah we just got another crazy roll there let's get another purple and at this point yeah i'm gonna just just buy a bunch of things and we're gonna take a while the purple number is also very awesome looking which i really enjoy so off we go into rolling a bunch and i'm gonna come back when i am oh 4.4 wow that was an insane roll we just had rolled right crazy 4.1 4k is my new high score i just need 5k and i already rolled the 4.1 and then i need to get to tier 8 which is here this is 5 6 7 8 so you can only imagine that the high score is going to be the easy part literally the easy part is going to be the high score if anything the moment i get the high score i'm just off to the races right the moment i get the high score i just no longer care about anything and we just go for the high highest possible um tier let's actually get the next tier here purple nice Continue gaining dice, and then just combining whatever. More things we combine better. Okay, I'm gonna come back once again when we got some things going. If I high score, or if I roll the high score, I mean, I'm, I'm recording all of this anyway, so that the two is gonna slice in the moment we get a crazy high score, which I might roll past anyway. Let's go. Okay, I rolled a 4.48k. That was a nice crazy multiplier right there. Um, but still, we have not hit the 5k. I am at this point with still only one purple because I'm just buying a bunch of small tiers. I still believe that the idea is you just want to get as many whites as possible. That's the main idea in general in this game. 1k, another nice roller. But yeah, I'm still waiting for us to get blocked off the low tiers. So literally every single die is going to become at least orange. This really, really reminds me as 2,448 or something. 2,048, I think, is the game. You know, where you just combine things that combine things that combine things. This is literally what, how this feels like as a game. I'm just combining everything until I'm super duper stuck. And it's as if I'm trying to send everything to the top left. Because in that game, you want to ever send everything into some kind of corner. What's your corner on 2048? Do you ever play 2048? Did you be? Were you sending everything bottom right? Were you be sending everything top left, bottom, uh, bottom left, top right, bottom right? I don't know. I already said like five different direction. Definitely repeated one of them. I'm pretty sure most of the people are doing a downward direction. Was your an upward direction? Mine was definitely downward. I think I was pushing them bottom right. If I, or bottom left, I think. I mean, you always do a switch watch, right? You do bottom left, right, left, right, left, right, bottom, left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, so I would say, are, were you going bottom or top? And then the other question would be, maybe you were going um, right and then top down, top down, top down. So that's a question. Do you even understand what I'm asking? What I'm saying, uh, the game 2048 is a very well-known game. Uh, that used to be a viral game, I guess, if you played it ever. And then, uh, which, what, what was your tactic there? What was your tactic? Is my question pretty much because you definitely had a directional tactic like everybody had. Oh, we got the mega speed up. Okay, this is gonna make a difference here. I would hope and assume. Does that make these guys also faster? No, it doesn't. My high score is still not where I wanted to be. So once again, it doesn't really matter uh, what dice you have. Um, so what I'm saying here, the main idea is I try to get my high score to 5,000. If I can get my high score to 5,000, then um, then we're ready to just go for the high level die. Then I don't care about anything else anymore. And we just skip to tier 8 die as the game wants us to. Once again, tiers don't really matter. The only thing that tiers give us is more slot for white dice. Nice. As long as I'm always at max capacity, we're good to go. Just buy anything that's colored. Okay, the game definitely needs um, hotkeys. Like, I don't want to be playing this with keyboard, uh, with mouse. I would like to be playing this with keyboard. Like, when I press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I would like to get my dice up and running. Uh, get more dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 should be the right side, and then space bar should be just rolling again. Nice. Is the speed up still going? Yes, it is. Let's continue on. Do, 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 do. And now I guess we're forced to go hide to your tie die again. I'm running out of room in general. Okay, most likely need to buy a tier 3 now, and then a tier 4, and some tier 1s. Okay, so I, gotten, I have not gotten the high score yet. We have almost only reds at this point. We're closing into being forced to only buy purples in a moment. But that's okay. Purples are tier 6. I need 4 purples so that I can get uh, 2 tier 7s and then from that, from those 2 tier 7s, 
We got one tier eight, and that's 150 coins alongside everything else. Still have not gotten the high score we were searching for. Times the multiplier. Come on, man. Give me just, just give me a very simple times three, times three, times two. Can I get that? It's gonna be enough to literally roll everything we need. Times two, times two, times three. That's it. That's it. Just a bunch of big numbers. Just a bunch of big numbers. Tut, tut. Let's go. I mean, what are the chances of us rolling seven sixes? Actually, eight sixes. Maybe even nine sixes. And they also have to be consecutive. Nine sixes from the 16 dice we have. And they are consecutively split in between them. Or also, uh, game saved is what that other thing was. I just read that for the first time. So also, I could do a times two, times two, times two, times two. That would also be nice. That would be a times eight, though. Times two, times two, times two, times... No, that would be a two, four, eight, sixteen. Yeah, times two, times two, times two, times two. Also be nice. One here, one there, one there, and one there. Actually, the last one was a times four. That could also theoretically be easy to roll. I'm a cash at 11,000. I got a times two, times two, 3.3k. If I had one more times two there, it would have been enough. So I'm literally hard stuck here once again. So now we're really going to be forced to buy higher tiers. Yeah, I'm literally just creating more and more high tier dice here. Nice, now we're at time tier 4. And I'm going to create one more tier 3. Tier 2, tier 4. Tier 2, 4. And then a 3 again. And a 2 again. And once again we're stuck, I would say. Yes, and I'm forced to go for a tier 6. Okay, we're closing into not being able to sustain what we are going for here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to come back in a moment again when I maybe hit the high score. I also have to pick up the phone right now. So anyway, we're going to continue here gaining purples now. So I rolled through the 5k. I don't know editors going to slice it in, I guess. But we're at 4.8k here in times to multiplier. Let's continue with rolling. So we did get the high score we needed. The 5,000. Uh, and now we're gonna go for the tier 8. We're gonna just straight up skip through here. I don't think we need to continue on going for anything else. And I just need to amass uh, 150,000 coins. Um, which I would say is easy enough because each roll is like 1 or 2k anyway. So um, we're gonna be good to go. Also we have the auto buyer and the auto combiner. So I don't even need to care about those. We're gonna slowly trickle money away on those auto combinations. But we're not gonna lose that much money unless it hits the 10,000 here which would be really bad. It can actually hit the 10,000 if it wants to. Is it always the highest one? What does this one upgrade? Yeah, it upgrades the highest one, so you're gonna stop upgrading. We're gonna continue buying, of course. Uh, but we're not gonna upgrade. Not 10,000. I don't think these ones, though, cost us that much. Like, green and white dice don't cost. These maybe do a little bit. 5,000 again. So now we're super duper rich at this point. We're making the big money here. 999, okay, that was a nice amount. 1.1k. So I literally just need a 2k. I need 150 rolls, almost at 2.9k. Now we're actually making money. Let's buy this. So it's blue. And uh, let's also buy the yellow once again. 700 is not really that expensive. But I'm not going to buy these either. I mean, these cost a thousand. So each one of those I buy is one more roll I need to do. Definitely these are not worth it. Three more rolls each and then 10 more rolls each. And I mean, once again, buying these means just buy more inventory space. Game is saved. Nice. So now I just need to hit 25 more K. So I get another blue and then just 100 K and we got the tier 8. And off into Ascension we shall go. Um, 5K is still my highest. I really enjoy. I really hope the Ascension is going to allow us to get 10, 10 sided. Or 20 sided, honestly. D20s would be nicer. Although then I'm not going to get the multiplier easy. How is the multiplier going to work on other die it faces, my question. Unless D6s is, is the highest possible. Well, the definite thing is I want a bigger space. Bigger space is the most important thing to get, of course. We know that. Because uh, the more space you have, the more multipliers you get. And the more multipliers you get, the faster you just break the game. Look at this, 4.6k. I mean, my highest is 5.2, which once again, I, I missed. 2k here. 1k there. I mean, at this point, I'm just gaining 1,000 every roll, literally. 2.4k. Yeah, I'm so literally, in at this point, um, 75 rolls, we will have 100,000. Easy enough. 1.2. Give me like a 20k just so we skip ahead a little bit. No. 
4,000. Very nice. That was a nice roll. Also another 3,000 here. Also a nice roll. Another 2K. Very nice rolls. Very nice rolls. Literally a single times two multiplier. Ooh, look at this. Times four multipliers. 4,000. Literally just two more multipliers makes a great difference. And the thing is, the thing is, if I get a multiplier on these dice, it's a crazy roll too, right? Because uh, the fact that I got... Ooh, look at this. Times two, times two, times two. And it even happened in the first one. 16,000 is my highest score right here. So, what I wanted to say was the fact that I get a multiplier means that I rolled sixes. Sixes are my highest die roll. So, if these are the multipliers, then it's not only that I got a times two multiplier or times three or whatever, but it's also that I got a six times whatever the die roll is, right? Because these dice here are um, times what? I mean, if it rolls one, I can just say times 64. These dice are times 64, so it's six times 64 twice because both of them are sixes and then also the multiplier on top of that times two two so it's it's really crazy you can get some crazy multipliers i do enjoy that the dev actually added this as an idea the when you roll sixes that are consecutive you get a multiplier happening uh i need one more bunch of sixes rolled here and oh 969 very nice and let's go boom and off to ascension we shall go like two upgrades auto upgrader speed upgrades will be bought with a lower time interval going from 20 seconds to 15 no uh, auto roller speed dice will be throwing with a lower time interval going from 10 to 8 auto bar speed dice will be bought with a time interval going from 11 to 9 uh i mean this is a 25 percent uh, cooldown reduction this is a uh, about 20 percent cooldown reduction and this is a two percent cooldown definitely this and um I mean, upgrade's not really. Let's just go buy dice. Actually, no, this is the slowest one. We're gonna go upgrades. Yeah, we're gonna go with upgrades. Because if I let the game play, this is the one that needs to happen off and not this. And these two need to be synchronized anyway. So, let's go with... The end? No! You can still level up your dice and compete for the highest score in the leaderboard, but there are no more ascension available. No new coin that will be present in the game. If you like it, be sure to game a wish list really soon. Okay. That's the game, boys! There is no ascension. Yeah, but that's the truly game. I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess. How long was this video? Man, I should not have been being like, okay, I'm gonna skip ahead, because now that this was gonna skip away some things, and ah, I didn't know that the run is, the, the game is so short. It is what it is. Okay, when this game comes fully out, I'm gonna play it. If you enjoyed it, definitely drop a like, subscribe to the channel, because there's gonna be another video of this game, uh, where I literally do a full run on this, uh, because the game, you know, seems to have an end at least, you know, because the way this ascensions are working, the way these are working, there is definitely an end to... How many are there? Wow, look at how many tiers there are. Okay, I mean, I do understand that you can literally just play this thing forever, because without the ascension, you can just let this play, and then you come back, and it's like an insane armada of dice. Maybe I'm gonna even do that. Maybe, instead of just ending it here, I'm gonna go out, eat, come back, and then just have the game be an insane amount of madness happening. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna just do one last outro, quote-unquote, with a crazy mad lad build when I come back from this. So I'm gonna just let this play out. And uh, I'm gonna come back for when I get the craziest number and whatever possible. Now, I'm not gonna be recording these. So, uh, because I don't want my recording to be for no reason insane. So, I will be coming back with the end of this. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna come back to an outro after I got my tier a million or whatever. It's gonna be after a while. At this point, might as well open up the leaderboard, right? Uh, mini dukes uh, 18.6 million this guy's playing forever i guess moggy nine point where are we oh this how does this even work 100k oh wait then i exist definitely somewhere down here right oh i'm actually on the leaderboard because my high score is like how much is my high score 16k uh so theoretically i am on the leaderboard i should be somewhere around here i would say six let's actually see the exam 60.58 16.58 should be somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. 16. Oh, here we are. 16.50. Uh, here, here we are. Here we are. 341. Okay. Okay. I can definitely hit the 100,000. Yeah, these guys are very low right now. I can definitely hit the 100,000. We can definitely get to at least this point. 
Uh, 100,000 is at uh, 100. Look at this. This is very random. The number 100 is 100,000. The moment I actually join these ranks, this is not going to be a thing anymore. But what are the chances that literally place 100 is 100k? The moment I decide to actually just check in. That is very, very random and weird. Insane. Insane. I'm going to try to... Yeah, I'm going to let the game play now with the auto rolls and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to come back for just the outro to see how high we can get with what an insane score we can get. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed up to this point. And don't forget to like, subscribe, because I'm going to play this when it launches so that we get a full run on this game. And we just uh, see how awesome it might become or uh, be yeah, get. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to come back right away. And here we are three days later. And uh, this is what it looks like. We have gotten all the dice. We got a colorful dice here that spins in colors. Look at this times to multiplier as always. Look at this little beast here of a thing. Uh, that thing is a tier uh, 12 die that changes colors. Now 25 million I never got to because even if I got to it, I don't have enough on the... I don't have two color dice, so I first need to get 10 million and then... I'm going to be able to uh, get the 25 million. I decided we're going to end it here because honestly, I did hit the number that I wanted to hit. So we hit the 175 big score. I am on the score screen now. In general, what I've been doing is I was just spamming these buttons here whenever I came back. I, I left the game open running uh, with the auto buy and the auto upgrader. Those are not doing that many things, but what they are doing is the auto roller once in a while is rolling. So this is what it actually looks like. I'm just clicking these buttons and then I rotate back buying a bunch of white dice and then we click these and then white dice, you know, as I was doing this whole time. Now this year, as I said, is three days later. So if my voice is different or anything is actually different, yeah, that is that. But let's just uh, upgrade and combine all of our dice here at the end just for a good old nice ending screen. And I don't think there is any good chance we're going to actually hit a big number here. We got a times 2 multiplier roll here. But I've been allowing this to roll for a long while now. And uh, I can tell you that um, I rolled the 175k off screen. And I'm not really getting big numbers that often. The only way you can get this thing, the, the insane number to roll, is if the very two first die are both sixes and if anything the first three die i would even say the first two is not enough i mean as you see we're getting some 23 very easy with a times two but i need a times two times two times two so the 35 yeah look, look at this it was a 16,000, but not a single multiplier 24,000 without a multiplier if i can get a 24,000 plus a, six, a times three times two then that's gonna hit the insane amount of course the chance of that happening right now on video is pretty slim um, it's like I need to roll this one a six and this one a six too. So specifically both of these, the first two have both to become sixes. Uh, and if anything, the third one too. So the first one is a six is a one and six. And then the second one becoming also six at the exact same time is also, uh, I guess one in sight and six. So it's one in six and one in six. So it's one in 3d6 to roll both of these as sixes. And then, of course, there is always the role of another six appearing somewhere in the back line. The game is starting to lag a bit. That's a bit weird. Why are we lagging here? Um, seems like it's about to explode. Got some sixes again. Not really enough. We're in the millions, as always. Uh, but the thing is that the speed at which you actually become bigger is very slow. Now, the thing is, another thing is, the game is about to launch. Uh, I went into the Discord between those three days where we're waiting for this huge, huge number to appear. And in their Discord, they said, the dev said that they are going to try to get the game to launch on somewhere in the middle of November. So if it launches, I will do another run. I'm not going to do another run the moment it launches because there is a good chance I'm going to be on vacation. But uh, I will do a video later on. So if you enjoy this, drop a like and subscribe so you see when I upload a video on it. Otherwise, I guess I'm going to leave it here if nobody cares about this. But I do enjoy the game a lot. Like It's a very chill vibe game. And honestly, if it wasn't for this permanently being stuck at six-sided dice and we could, you know, get those 20-sided dice, or whatever, 45,000 there, by the way, then that would also be nice. Let's actually roll a little bit and see what we can get. 45 with only a times two multiplier. Can I please get a times two times two times two? That's the only thing I want, man. Times two, four, three times times two. Like I did previously on the video, like we were doing previously on the video. Times three is not enough. 75. If I also had a times three there, times three times three, that could also be enough, which is practically a times nine multiplier. Nope, times two once again, not really enough. Now I am making an insane amount of money, of course, but I just wanted to hit a big number. 
Uh, right now, my scoring is, just to be clear, we are on the leaderboard. We are actually on the leaderboard, by the way. We are at the top 100. We are right here, 175. It's right here, uh, number 77. And, and also, guess what? Uh, the 100... Oh, actually, yeah, like, yesterday when I was looking at this, literally still 101 was the 100k. So it just so happens that the day I decided to play the game is when the number 100 was at leaderboard... Wait a minute, yeah. The number 100 was at position 100. Literally the day I recorded for the first time. And then that just went away. So I just so happened to record it at the perfect moment, at the perfect day. Uh, which is a bit, uh, I guess, random. You know what? I'm gonna just wait for the first two to roll sixes. When the first two roll both sixes, that's when we stop rolling, is what I'm gonna say, no matter what the number is. Because, oh, here, it just happened. Uh, and it wasn't even that big. You know what? I would like to see that again. Uh, let's not have an auto grader. I just said when the first two roll a six, and then it just, asked, and just decided to do it on its own. No, I want to try this again. So from now on, not from... <laughs> I said it and it just rolled it. So 1 in 3, 2, both of these first ones to be 6s. When both of these first two are 6s, then that's going to be my final roll. So just so that I can see a big number here as my closing screen for the memes. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not a meme to be honest. It's just um, something I want to see. Up oh, here it is. Wow! 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 Asking yourself, receive. I somehow rolled the craziest roll ever the moment I recorded this. Just to be clear, I've been leaving this game to run for three days, and it was auto rolling literally every day on its own. For every eight seconds, it was rolling a roll, and I never hit this number. And I just rolled it on. Like I, I just decided to start recording right this moment, and I just hit it like after I don't know a hundred rolls, fifty rolls. I know how many rolls I just got here. This is an insane amount here. Times three, times two, times three. This is maybe the most insane I've ever seen. 506,000. This is half a million. I just skyrocketed on the leaderboard. I just skyrocketed on the leaderboard. Look at this. 500,000. We're right here. Um, I, I, I don't even know where I am. I, I haven't uh, actually got the number yet. 506,000. 506,000. It didn't actually update. Can I please get an update on this? Maybe if I go friends and then back to uh, global. 530. Come on, 506. It didn't update yet. Man, look at this insane amount. 12,000 from this one. And then another 12,000 from these two. Because obviously these two are one of this. So this and these two are the same. And then the greens failed a little bit. Actually, this was a gold wall. Only very low dice roll too. So the very high ones, four, five, three, six, five, five. Really, 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 really good roll here. Insane. If this was a six or this was a six, oof, that would have been an insane difference maker. Okay, I think we now actually did save that. So um, where am I? Why am I not on my spot? Ah, here I am. Forty-four, five hundred six. Was I here before? I don't know. I'm blind anyway. Forty-four position, five hundred six. I just rolled it. I think for you to get millions, you need to have a lot of more legendaries dice than I have. I just rolled the craziest high roll in my life. And wow, I cannot even explain how insane this is. The fact that I got this literally the moment I decided to, okay, let's start the recording. So I'm going to be done with the game. I just rolled 500,000 here. And it's not like I increased my dice by that many, just to be clear. It's not like, oh, you no, the difference is because you bought a bunch of dice. How many dice do you think I bought from the start of the recording? I bought like 20 or something, maybe 30. This is insane. Completely insane that I captured this. I'm so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more when the game launches, I'm going to do a run if this video goes well. So drop like, subscriptions, etc. And uh, if it doesn't go well, then I guess this is going to be it, the one and done video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.